Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the installation of Kodi on your Google Nexus player, TV player, um, because this is a really easy setup. It takes all the hard work out of adding repositories and searches, etc. Uh, this is a, an easy installations guide using a program called uh, Kodi Master, which I came across um, not so long ago. So. Um, I'll go through it with you uh, to make it a bit easier and any links or descriptions that will help you I'll, I'll include in the uh, in, in the description below. So um, first thing you need to do is go to your Google Play Store and go to the search function and type in Kodi. Quite simple. Do a search on that and there it is um, so just click on that and install it uh, I don't need to I've just installed it so it's a fresh install for me as well and then you'll see the icon on your desktop there uh, now just um, to let you know that I am using a, a Bluetooth keyboard to make it slightly easier because uh, I have come across some things where I do need a bit of typing on the keyboard and, and with the remote you get with the Nexus player it can be a little difficult etc. So um, I have linked up a little Bluetooth keyboard just to make my life a little bit easier. But anyway, so go into Kodi and the first thing you need to do is go to System and then down to File Manager. And then we need to add source. So click on that and then highlight where it says none and then click on that. So the source we need to add is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Kodi master dot com forward slash repo. So that's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Codymaster dot com forward slash repo. Once you're done, click done and then move down to enter a name for this media source. Now this you can type in anything you want. Uh, I'm just going to call it dot uh, Codymaster. And then click OK. What you need to do then is come back out, back to your main menu. Um, and then what we need to do is install this now. So we need to go to system and then settings and then all the way down to add-ons. First run help, just click OK. And then we need to go down to install from zip file. Just click on that. Now you need to find whatever you renamed that to a second ago. In my case, it was .codymaster and then click on that file. And then all the way at the bottom, you've got codymaster.repository. Click on that. And then we need to wait. Uh, down in the bottom right hand corner, we should see it saying that it's, uh, the add-on has been enabled. So that's great. So wait for that before you do anything. Right, now we've done that. If you come back out, we can now um, go across to programs, program add-ons, get more, and then you should see Kodi Master Wizard right at the top highlighted in yellow. So click on that, click install, and that'll download it, it won't take long. There we are, and it should say enabled next to Kodi Master. So we can come back out of that. Come back out of that once and then you'll see it just above get more. So you can click it now to go into it. And then we've got Kodi Master builds, Kodi Master international builds, third party builds and maintenance. So. You can have a look through these. Uh, these are builds that, again, some of these are quite good um, and they just make the whole um, interface look different. There's some there in the master, Kodi Master builds, international builds. I've not tried all of these. Third party build builds. Um, 
I'm going to go for your Android TV build. Let's see what this one's like. So this will now download it. Some of them take different lengths of time, depending on how much resources gone into it, how much art, how many uh, links and repositories, etc. Um, so I'll stop the video here and play it when it's complete. Okay, so mine's downloaded. It took about 12 minutes, 12, 13 minutes. Um, it will ask you, um, uh, sorry, it won't ask you. It will say that it's extracting uh, the file as well. So just let that run. Um, and then you should get to this uh, menu. So this um, basically says that the download's complete. So to ensure all the changes are saved, you must now close Kodi to force, um, to force close Kodi. Uh, so click OK. You're about to close Kodi. Would you like to continue? Yes, close. Okay, this says warning. Your system has been detected as Android. You must force close this. So if you click OK, now what you need to do is physically pull the power cord out of your Android uh, Nexus player. So uh, just bear with me a sec while I do that. All I've done is pulled it out and just uh, put it back in again. So hard reset the uh, player box and let it load up. Looks like my internet's running a bit slow today. Right, there we go. So, reopen Kodi. And voila, we have some changes. Right, okay, so we're not done just yet. Um, but you can see the background art is changing. Uh, we've got the menus, which are um, all laid out for us. Um, but what we need to do is just leave it settled for a while because it will start installing shortcuts, uh, updating repositories, etc. So bear with it because uh, if you fly through it right now, you'll find that things either might not work or the system might just freeze, etc. So just let it do its thing. Um, you know, and this can sometimes take five minutes or so, but as you can see, full selection of um, menus um, there we go look it's still adding on uh, it's still uh, updating the add-ons etc as you can see uh, sometimes you might get an error uh, very rare that you do um, it tends to run quite smooth so we just we'll just leave that go for a little while just uh, installing some of these updates etc etc And what I have found um, with many installations of different uh, Kodi setups is that for movies, for me, for some reason, one channel uh, doesn't seem to work. Uh, I think Ice Films or Ice Movies doesn't tend to work for me either. I'm not sure why, but I can still get all, all the latest films, etc. Uh, through either Genesis or Phoenix mainly. Phoenix tends to be my favourite one because that's um that se seems to be the fastest for me uh for playback and loading etc and that's already on there under movies phoenix is already there um well in fact let's click on it and see let's see if this list loads up yeah there we go uh some great uh movies and quality uh through um through the phoenix channel so let's just have a quick look 2015 there we go, you can see they're loading up with the art down the side. Just click one. Let's have a look.
So yeah, it's now playing quite fast. Let's skip on a little bit, see what the quality's like. What do I call you now? Uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, I gotta call you Sam. Have to uh, watch that later. I'm okay, so we know we've got movies there. Um, we've got uh, the Mutts Nuts, One Channel, Phoenix, Genesis, iStream, all at the bottom as a, a sub channel under your movies. Now, for me, for example, if I try this now, one channel, let's see if this works. Uh, let's go to movies. Uh, most popular, let's try that. So you can see I've got nothing loading here at all uh, for the movie. So for me, that sub menu on the uh, main screen is a waste of time. So um, in order to change that, <coughs> you need to go to your settings. Uh, if I just skip that, sorry, your system and then skin settings down the bottom. Click on that. Go across to set up the Aeon Nox main menu. And then you've got all your um, links down the side of what you see on, on, on the main screen. So for me, if I, if I highlight movies and then go across down to manage sub menu, I can see there on the left hand side the, the five channels that I've got as a of, as my sub channels under my movie heading so the one channel for me doesn't work so if I highlight that I can actually delete that from that sub menu and it's gone but I might want to add another one or change one so if I go to add and then go up to type and click it one two three times I can then move across again to the right and go down and work through the repositories that are pre-installed on uh, as part of this installation and, and find maybe another channel that does work. So looking looking through, what have we got? Uh, see, there's Ice Films, but I know that that's through history. That doesn't work for me. Uh, what else have we got? So there's quite a lot on there that you can add and tailor to your your to suit you really let's try yiffy movie so if i click on highlight it and click it it will then take me to the directory of it now i can use any of these as the main directory but if i create a shortcut right at the start of it and click that it's now added to the left hand side so back out of all these menus now and you will see that it will rebuild the menu, which is doing there now. Doesn't take long. So that's now added that to the bottom sub menu under my movies. You can see it there, Yiffy Movies. So if I now click that, that'll take me to that repository and uh, hopefully these work. So let's just try one release. There we go. So you can see that you can just tailor it to uh, to suit you, and, and you can do that under any of the headings, music, um, you've got uh, TV, world TV, other kids, sports, uh, TV shows. I mean, I need to go through these myself to see if they all um, tend to be working, but most of the time, there's only a few that I do know about that I've already mentioned that don't work for me here in the UK, and I'm not sure why, so um, perhaps I'll need to look into that. Um, the other thing you can do is um, you'll see all the headings that I've got here and um, for some reason they haven't put in my favourites. So in order to add that, if I go highlight system and down to skin settings, again move across to the setup of the Aeon Knox main menu and it's not in this list down the left hand side. So, or sorry, it is in the list but you'll see from the... Uh, from the right hand side it's not enabled so if i just click that so there's a dot in the middle of it and now back right out uh you should see that favorites should hopefully yeah there we go so that's now added um to my main menu so i can now click that and go directly to the ones that i save um into my favorites the other thing I did find with the android tv box because of the remote control it doesn't allow you to add um, to get up a context menu to be able to add to your favorites so which is one of the other reasons why I bought a Bluetooth keyboard 
uh, to give me that function. So for me, if, if, you know, if I want to watch a film, if I come across a film that I want to watch later, perhaps, um, you know, uh, let's go back into Phoenix. Or well, I know I want to watch uh, um, Black Mass. I can now get my keyboard and just click the C button uh, if it was on. And now I can um, add that to my favourites. If I come back out of that, favourites. Oh, it looks like the uh, the guy that wrote this has actually put a load of favourites in for him, but you'll see it right at the bottom there. Um, I can delete these off if I want to, but um, that's that's the one that I've just put in there, so I can I can play it straight from there rather than keep searching for it. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, lastly, I just want to say that sometimes um, you can you do find that Cody on this box can sometimes freeze. Uh, you know, when you're looking through the menus or looking uh, random channels, etc. Now, what I did find out earlier today and only today is that on the main menu um, of your actual Nexus player, so click the home button uh, and go to. Uh, so, if Cody is frozen, come back to this menu, just click your home button, go to settings, go across to about, and you should be running the same. Uh, same versions as me as 5.1.1 you've actually got a new restart button so you can just click restart from there and it will just re reset Cody and obviously the system as well you can just start afresh and let it load up so hopefully that was easy enough for you if you've got any questions then put them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you to, to answer them etc but have a play around with the other um, the other links that were on there on, on the Cody Master Forum uh, that you came across because they all they all look slightly different. Some are better than others. Um, but what I find once I've installed it, it's not quite right for me. So I tend to play around with the sub menus and just get them right, get the links that are work right for me. And hopefully they just update uh, as and as and when, you know, the, um, and then it just downloads it straight to your Cody. So so that's it. So Please rate and subscribe guys um, and like I said any comments then leave them below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks very much.